Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. In this one, I'm gonna go over an RBM can reactor using all three variants of Sherbidium fuel and it produces over 132 mega Hg per second of power. Now, an RBM can reactor was requested a lot in this past few days. So this is a 13 by 13 design, takes 25 fuel rods and it has 30 steam channels. Here is how it looks like on the console and it runs pretty hot. So without any further ado, let's get straight into this video. Now here's the layout that I'm working with. It's a six chunk area in total. One of these chunks is for the RBMK reactor. The remaining five are for the Leviathan steam turbines and the cooling towers along with the cables. So here's the 13 by 13 area where our reactor will be. So to start, we build a platform, a temporary platform, two blocks up from the ground. Get rid of the support blocks here. And then from the very middle, which is by leaving six blocks diagonally, on the seventh one, place down a moderated fuel rod. Now surrounding this fuel rod will be four normal control rods and then in the corners we have the steam channels. Now to extend this we place down three more control rods in every direction like this. In the middle and in the front we place down control rods and then in the remaining corners we place down the steam channels to close the entire square. And this is how you extend the design. It is pretty simple. Once again, we placed down the fuel rods, but this time five like this. And the process remains the same. So control rods here. And then to fill up the space, we will have steam channels. Now this was the last layer of fuel rods. So once all of the steam channels are placed, we can start placing down the reflectors. So with steam channels placed, Reflectors will be in front of every control rod and uh, this will close up the RBMK reactor preventing any radiation leakage. So five reflectors on each side like this. And with that done, we can start placing the structural columns to close down this reactor. So placing down like this and this is our last side here. And with that, the RBMK reactor is done. So we have 25 fuel rods in total, 16 for low enriched sherbidium, 8 for medium enriched sherbidium and 1 for highly enriched sherbidium. Now don't forget to place down the RBMK covers because so that will also prevent radiation from leaking. And due to control rods in this design, this process doesn't take very long because there are a lot of control rods and that's why we don't have to place covers on top of them. And transparent covers for the fuel rods so you can see the fuel when it's activated or when it's reacting and with that done we can now get rid of the temporary platform that we made and now we start with an important step which is linking this to an rbmk console so for that we use the console linking device and once linked we can start assigning control rods so these four control rods will be red it was it is for the highly enriched sherbidium then all of the control rods on the second level which are these ones right here surrounding the eight fuel rods these ones will be yellow all of these control rods will be for medium and rich medium and finally the remaining control rods that we have all of them will be set to green and they are for controlling the low and rich medium so that's right here we set them to green and once done the control rod system should start looking something like this also select every steam channel or every boiler and then set it to ultra dense steam and that's done by clicking this three times all of them should be set to ultra dense steam and now we start with the piping work which is same for every rbmk so on the top will be pipes for water and then the steam separator or this and then on the bottom we have pipes for ultra dense steam and make sure to connect these pipes on any one of these sides so that uh, you can assign them in one go. So with this done, now the top pipes are water, bottom pipes ultra dense steam and that's done. Now the Leviathan steam turbines, you will need total four of them for ultra dense steam, uh, the super dense steam, normal dense steam and finally the steam. Then we have three big cooling towers and two auxiliary cooling towers. And I'm going with paintable, uh, basically pipes for this one so that the system looks clean. 
and also making kind of a base for the RBMK so it doesn't hover in the air. So here's our five cooling towers in total. We set the low pressure steam going in from one side and water coming out of the other side. And uh, yeah, the amount of low pressure steam at max that will be produced is uh, just over 620,000. So uh, these cooling towers should do that way. And also don't forget to set all of the steam turbines with cables and connect them all. Now to fuel this reactor, in the very middle, highly enriched cherubidium, surrounding it will be 8 medium enriched cherubidium. And uh, then we will have on the very outer row, the low enriched cherubidium. So 1 highly enriched cherubidium, 8 medium enriched cherubidium and 16 low enriched cherubidium. That is how the fuel rods are distributed here and two of them are highly dangerous. So anyways, that's all of the fuel rods set. Now pull out the red control rods by 20%, the yellow ones by 40% and the green ones by 100%. And this is the max temperature or the safest that you can run any higher than this and the reactor will explode. To start the reaction, place down any neutron source in the middle and quickly replace it with the highly enriched cherubidium and that should start up the reactor. So here we can see temperature has started going up. Water level is down a little bit but uh, yes it will stabilize at this point. So for now the water usage will rise up rapidly and it will go up to approximately 621,000 millibucket per second. So yeah what we have is enough for 640,000 millibucket per second so you should be good. But still if uh, there is a confusion you should always use the power condenser anyhow the power produced is 131 and the hottest fuel that we have will be the medium and rich medium it will run very close to meltdown so keep a close eye on it and if you are not comfortable with this uh, high or basically very hot running reactor then you can pull down the control rods the yellow control rods by a little bit and that should be good so now we reach nearly the maximum water and steam produced. The power is up to 132. And yeah, as I told you before, the yellow control rods are the main ones here. So if you bring them down to let's say 37, 38, this will affect the power produced, but will also significantly reduce the amount of water that the reactor is consuming. Or basically it will reduce the amount of heat produced in the medium and rich shear medium. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Peace out guys.